Oh, we picked back up in the Death Vespit as Cure told Jocelyn about the worm crawling out of the Bonebreaker's eye after her spell magic, whatever she had done to make a worm crawl out of the Bonebreaker's eye. Told Jocelyn to make a wish, which he immediately did, uh, essentially casting a Mass Greater Restoration, which made many worms crawl out of people's eyes. I'm also getting an echo through Jill's mic, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'll mute myself. Um, so then people went unconscious and there were, instead of one worm, there were 20 worms, but they were no longer in the people's heads. So that was, it. that, that seemed like an improvement question mark. It was certainly initiative time. Um, there was a lot of fighting. Um, and stomping of worms and trying to stabilize people. Uh, some of us took longer to see the worms than others, not to name names. Um, highlights included uh, a worm crawling into uh, both Cure, Cure and Jocelyn's clothing and um, learning that if you, you, you can misty step out of many grapples, but you can't misty step away from a worm that's inside your armor. Um, highlight slash low light included involved a self-cast fireball that Jazen uh, cast to destroy lots of worms. Uh, may or may not have been a little traumatizing. We don't know. He says he's fine. Um, eventually the worms were dead. Jazen healed up the unconscious and injured, revivified the one dead person. We completed our delivery eventually once the bone breaker had his enough wits about him. Um, Macklin did some, not interrogating, what's the next step down from interrogating? Some questioning, questioning, inquiry yeah. about the situation. Uh, Tree Bonebreaker didn't really know what happened or who did it. He had a lot of a headache. Um, v did recognize the worms as neolithids, neoilithids, uh, baby mind players, essentially, or things that turn people into mind players. Real gross. Um, but the Bonebreaker thought he could handle it from here now that he had his people back and uh, the cool magic psionic mind control detection wand to know if any of his people got mind controlled. Um, so we decided to hang out long enough for the Bonebreaker to attune to that wand and then we would just take off. off and it, but that would take an hour or so. And he recommended against drinking anything. Sounded like that may have been part of what went wrong. But luckily, we had a bottle of Fay Wild Moonshine and a bottle of Courage in our bag and donated those to the cause. Um, so various of us got various degrees of drunk, mostly led by Jawson, who got super smashed and began to levitate while insisting he was fine. Um, we tried to give him a tattoo while he was drunk, and he thought it was a good idea, but then Cure sobered him up, and he still said he still wants a tattoo, but we'll discuss it later. So we will discuss that later. Um, yeah, then we went to the Emerald Plains, arrived at a manor house, um, met the Count Costume, Cost um, who called us ruffians while reading Tusk Glove in a very comfortable chair. Cure hated him on sight. That seemed weird. Uh, Macklin did not hate him on sight. Jaws and Anti hated him on sight and eventually gave him a big hug. Uh, turns out the Count is also Ice, former party member. Um, I don't know if Cure was even still in the room or if she'd already pieced out when that happened. Uh, we eventually went out to say to hang with hang with her and uh, didn't take any notes about what conversation went on in the room while that was happening. But lots of getting the lay of the land um, for various people in various directions. Cure had an uncomfortable conversation with Grace? Grace, yes. We don't know. We weren't there. Um, Jocelyn disappeared. Uh, we and Macklin talked about, like, like, got a little bit up in Jawson's business without him being present about whether or not he was okay and whether he might be super traumatized. And uh, then Ice wandered by again. And I mean, it wasn't really behind his back. It was, we don't know where he was. So we don't know which body part, which plane of his body we were closest to. Um, we also, someone, I can't remember if it was us or someone else speculated to Cure that maybe Jawson isn't okay. And she assured us that he was fine or at least that it was none of our business. And we don't remember which. Um, we also got distracted by ice wandering by and having some conversation with Macklin about us in front of us. 
and then handing us a shiny dagger, a very, very shiny black dagger, uh, even though we already have a sword. So that's weird. Um, and we left off with Kior, who had gone to put baby Ilya to bed. Well, not baby, like, like just not adult um, child Ilya to bed. Um, after assuring all of us that no one needed to intervene with whatever was going on with Jocelyn. Uh She cast a sneaky locate object on Jocelyn's holy symbol, and we don't know what happens next. The end. I can't think of anything else to add that seems to have covered all the bases. There were so many conversational hooks left open between party members. Last yeah, game. there was a lot of talking and a lot of it was really interesting and I failed to take notes about like in, in much detail. But even just like things people want to know more about but didn't get a chance to ask one another mm -hmm. about. Actually has a small a tiny do list. So we'll see if that we'll see how that goes. Lists. I should have back into making those. Um, and I believe, actually, let me scroll back up. I believe Ilya and company are, st yeah, Ilya is still in Whitestone, at least as far as we know. And as far as Grace knows. Okay. So I believe you were, you had cast Locate Object. Sure. Yep. So I believe that's uh, 500 feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's just pop this in here. Even better. Yeah, I'm just going to use that to kind of navigate my way to wherever Josen went. Yeah, easy enough. It's a big house, but it's not like an impossibly huge house. Where is Josen? Yeah, easy enough. It is, um, there are several windows. You find a nice open one. The sounds of it. Roll me perception. As he hears copious amounts of screaming. With advantage, perception here. Damn. You must really be deep in thought. Yeah, you're a bit distracted. It's, I mean, it's outside. You you hear some t some people talking here and there. Um. Sure, is just standing in the opening, watching him for a moment. Mm 
I need to see if I notice him not noticing. Insight? No deception. I was already on my oh. A part of yeah. me thinks that this yeah. is a rare opportunity. The other part reminds me that I'm not a rogue. <laughs> I mean, maybe you've picked a couple things up, because... You look pensive. One might also say broody. And I know quite a bit about that. Here's a nice I'll walk over to lean against the railing beside him. Are you all right, Josen? You seem particularly bothered by this one, though. I take a moment and don't answer immediately. They got better. I believe that's the way many of our companions might put it. But I think you know me well enough to know that I don't think of such things as so lightly. I understand what it's like to put an innocent's life in danger. To that end, I have to agree, you usually are somewhat more careful in how you use your powers. But if I were... If I didn't know you so well, I would say that it looked as though you were panicking. I've made terrible decisions because I let panic take hold. Not to put any words in your mouth, but just making sure that you know you don't need to... You don't need to put up any fronts around me, so to speak.
Forgive me for saying so, but as I understood it, a fireball only really has one setting. I nod slide it slightly. Misjudged your area of effect. I and nod again. You're questioning whether you're making the right decisions. I chuckle a little bit. I have to marvel at the cosmic coincidence that made me think of coming after you tonight. Who better to hear your concerns regarding questionable decisions than I? They say the road to hell is paved with good intentions. I always assumed that to be a rather trite saying. Until I inadvertently bargained away my daughter's soul. I have a very different perspective on that saying now. Sometimes decisions ought to be questioned, even if they are made in good faith. At least the decisions where others' lives are on the line. That being said, we are not above making mistakes. As much as we try not to. You were able to address yours very quickly. There's that to focus on. I think if the soul did not want to return, then the decision is left out of your hands. In the end, we can only judge ourselves by the effort we put into our actions. The first thing you did was try to save the life that 
you inadvertently endangered. No matter what came of it, that was your first decision and the only thing you thought of in the moment. That is admirable. more help trust me when i say it is incredibly easy to chastise yourselves for bad decisions made in the heat of the moment everything seems so clear in the aftermath If it makes you feel better, you have made some terrible decisions. I don't judge you overly much for them. I never doubted that they were made in anything less than good faith, though. going to be very curious if he says that out loud. <laughs> out loud or in his mind? Okay. That makes a uh, cure snort a little bit. Suffice to say that I don't think any one of us is innocent of making poor decisions at one point or another. Most of us have learned from them. You are certainly one of those people who learned from their mistakes. Don't beat yourself up too hard over it. I suppose it's the purview of the pious to flagellate ourselves to our heart's content. Peace, Peace out. out. <laughs> Someone doesn't like religion. Did y'all did y'all just do an exorcism on Jill? I feel like if we were to do an exorcism on Jill, her computer will spontaneously combust. Don't you know the rogues are allergic to religion? It's complicated, Hashik. I <laughs> nod a little bit at what he says, though. Then I shall leave you to you and your god. But should you need to... speak to an earthly presence, I understand what you're going through.
Do you want me to just announce that or intercept any questions asked? You know, I can make that happen simply by telling them to go look for you. How much of a head start do you wish? I incline my head to him. I will see that it is done. And then I'll turn and start heading inside. I think we know what the second act of this tonight's story is going to be about. Sure do. As I walk away, I'm going to touch uh, Alia's earring. Grace, are you still in the mansion? I am. I'm in my library. All right. I'll be there in a few minutes as soon as I figure out where it is. It's on the second floor. Much appreciated. Let me just double check and make sure I did not give you any credit. The map is delightfully complex, but that also means I have no idea where anything is. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so this is Heather fucking up. Um, it's on this first floor next to the pool. You have a pool? Yes. You don't? I honestly don't know. I'm rarely home. Yes, there's a pool. Um, if you remember where we, uh, where we talked to the girls, and it's about, it's across the hall. Ah, oh, excellent. Thank you. And I'll backtrack my way in that direction. Um, I'm picking it for you. Let me zoom out so I can... Oh! I just kind of threw myself into that quadrant of the map. <laughs> no. Fab, what are you up to? I think we are still standing in the hallway with the other rogues and ice, correct? And, or, or have we Count time, have we time jumped? Count Constame. That's right, Macklin made it very clear that we are supposed to call him Count Constame. Um, that up here, is that, is that the count? Uh, that in is the, the count, yes. Okay. Um, so we were just handed ourselves, ourselves there. So Fantastic. we were just- I need a quick three minute, I will be right back, sorry. Oh, no worries. I will step away briefly myself and swap out beverages. I think Cure knows what nickname to give Ice now.
You could easily say this over voice. There's nothing is happening. Oh, that's true. I guess I could. Fill the dead air. I thought we were experiencing companionable sounds. I knew you were going to say that, and I respect you for it. Well, if there's anything I'm good at, it's earning your respect. I'm throwing it right out the fucking window the next day. Why do you say such hurtful things? Sorry about that. I am back. Uh, Welcome, back I'm back. back has learned that he can jump the baby gate and now no longer views the baby gate as anything more than a big obstacle. Ah. So he's just like, boop, and just jumps over. He has left the cave to see reality for what it is. Yeah, and except for, unless, instead of being frightened and returning to the cave because the world, real world is scary, he has decided to try and lick all the dirty dishes in the sink. Get it where you can get it, man. In our small vices. I have to slowly populate this map. Speaking of dogs leaving their caves. <laughs> you, can always, you can always just populate it as it's needed. I mean, save yourself the hassle of throwing all the tokens out. But we might run into someone interesting as we're just wandering the castle. And you won't know until you run into them. That's why we stick to initiative. We move only up to our speed per turn. Honestly, right now, that is what I'm trying to do. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like, I have to put this person in, this person in, this person in. Uh, yeah, so it's, it, yeah, as you mentioned, uh, it is all base items from Dungeon Draft. These are only base items? Yep. No way. Well done. Who is this person and do they do more? Uh, here. Yes, give me the links. Oh, I found it. Or that's the link back. To the location Ready where ah, it's a Patreon map, got it. Back now, sorry about that. Welcome back. Additional rogues in the in the council room. Whoa, that's not a rogue. It, no, that Sup, girl. In a... I mean, I don't know if you're a rogue. No, it loaded shit? in. Her way too large. She's too happy. I don't trust her. <laughs> She's seven. She's allowed <clears throat> to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> so She's from Whitestone. She's certainly not. One of us should be. Should be. Ha should be happy, right? Someone. Someone here. And plucky kids. Someone needs to be honestly cheerful instead of masking their internal trauma. I mean, we're usually honestly cheerful. <laughs> While also masking our internal trauma, but that's not the sole reason for the cheer. Usually we're not thinking about our internal trauma at all. We're just being 
Just don't just don't make us stop think about it. Ah, yes, a bed mimic. Not a bed mimic. <laughs> oh, good. Seems I, fine. Because this map is so huge, I didn't realize that this bedroom doesn't actually have a bed in it. Oh, no. <laughs> Other than uh. the one in the corner, so I had to put a second. <laughs> just fixing it. Don't worry about me, guys. I'm literally just fixing the room. I'll probably have to go in with Dungeon Draft and actually, like, make it proper, but... Yeah, Photoshop that shit. It's pretty good. Yeah. I think we were jumping to tab anyway, weren't we? Yes. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if we were waiting for anything else. Um, so we are standing there, and we have just been handed a uh, dagger, even though we already have another sword. We already have a perfectly good sword, but it is very shiny. Um, so we'll, we'll look over... Um, but I think we do say again out loud, we already have a sword. Nope, that's the wrong voice, but we'll roll with it. Yes, Why do we need another? Special. Oh, hi. Why is it special? Its name is Whisper. Why does it have a name? Because special. Um, we would like to examine the uh, the dagger. It's very shiny. We know it's very shiny, but but does it seem special? I look between uh, costume and tab. It'll lick my lips and somewhat warily. Tab, have you ever heard of the vestiges of divergence? Uh, DM, have we heard of the vestiges of divergence? How, how? Uh, roll a history check. Dirty 20? Uh, yeah, you have one, so. You're aware oh. that they're super powerful magical items. Uh, we told you we already have a sword. Tap the, tap the rapier with our with our free hand. Macklin gives pause and looks tab over, looks toward that particular blade before looking back to tab. And I look, I look between them, and then I say, "Well, it takes a little work." And a relationship with the dagger. But I from what I from the stories I've I've heard, once you have a relationship with that dagger, you can throw it and wherever it lands, you can instantly teleport yourself to. We I Macklin is this because you don't want us to have the amulet anymore? We don't blame you. We just wanted to know. <laughs> Mecklen furrows his brows and he looks genuinely befuddled and confused. We will we like will pull like... the amulet, the planes out from under our um out from out from under our armor and like um sort of kind of juggling our free hand and whisper trying to get the, the chain of that amulet untangled from the chain of our uh, truth seeker pendant and tuck that back under our armor and then hold up the like hold up the amulet of the plane um, to remind you Tab he, Macklin has Macklin nothing to do with this this is me I, think, I didn't even know you clowns were going to show up at my door do you always get vestiges to clowns to show up door no and I look over to Macklin, but I make exceptions. Oh. <laughs> we 
We're not ungrateful, we're just used. We'll get to Let's... know it. Maybe. Yeah, it's it's hard to describe. It is hard to describe. I I myself have only gotten it to a point where it was a little bit more dangerous. Um, the, the the first level, if you land a really good hit with it, the person that you hit has a chance to be frightened of you. Um, most people that we hit don't stay around long enough to be frightened of us. <laughs> that might change going forward. Our yeah. Adversaries are fierce. We look a little thoughtful at that. If they didn't have a family here that I was protecting, I'd more than be willing to keep that dagger and come along. But appearances in the sun need to be maintained. Why doesn't Kira like you? She wouldn't want you to come along, we don't think. There's a history. We wait patiently. But as patiently as we're capable of. So like, fidget, fidgeting, but attentive. I, I, I smirk. I smirk. <laughs> Cure didn't like, like that I tried, I tried to, to keep them under, under control without their permission. That makes sense. She wouldn't like... Neither would we. Yes, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm very, good very good at reading people, people so, so occasionally, occasionally I would, I would make proactive, proactive choices <laughs> to save from trouble with Cure. And instead of Cure seeing it as helpful, she saw, saw it as, as um, dangerous, dangerous and, and irresponsible, and she was quite, quite unhappy, unhappy about it. <laughs> We're like mouthing proactive choices. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and we look at the dagger, and we look at him, and then we look at the dagger, and we look at Macklin, and, like, we hold the dagger up and, like, wave it a little bit in Macklin's direction. Not, like, threatening, just the, like, this is, the, like, this is what we're talking about. Is this going to allow him to make proactive choices? For us? Allow me to make proactive choices? N no. That, that, that there, there is just, just a tool to help you was once held by Vaxeldon. Uh, ah, people who don't I assume know. we know that him. Yeah, you would know yeah. that him. Um, we nod slowly. You know the name better than most people because you're, you actually had a time skip in there, so... Yeah, so do, no, um, do we know what happens to him I in think... this... I think you've made, you've drawn some conclusions. Okay. Um, we nod slowly and uh, tuck the dagger through our belt. We don't have a sheath appropriate for it. Um, so we'll just tuck it through our belt like a street kid with a, with a knife and a belt, but no sheath. Um, and we will look look back at the count. Um, not like challenging, just very matter of fact. If you make productive choices for us, we will run you through. Thank you for the dagger. Say that again? Uh, what? If you make proactive choices for us, run you through. But thank you for the dagger. Oh, yes. No. That's... We just don't want you to be confused. No. Uh, I, I have no intention. I am not in your party. And you seem well to do on your own, so there's no problems. We nod agreeably. We'll let you know what we think of it once we once we understand it. Um, and we look around. Is V still in this room, or has V harried off someplace where there are books and fireplaces and/or teleported <laughs> far, far away? There... <laughs> Currently, V is still here. Um, we will. Once the dagger is through our belt, we will pull the amulet of the planes off over our head and um, 
cross over to V and try to very carefully drape it back around his neck without actually making contact with him because we know he hates that. So we're going to like try to like put the chain. Is the chain long enough that we can just put it around it over his head or is it, do we need to unclasp it? No, it's long enough. Okay. We're going to try to like just carefully with the holding the ambit in one hand, sort of move the chain in between his head and the little storm cloud and then like open the loop to drop, to, to drop the amulet over his head. Thank you for letting us borrow it. We don't think we'll need it anymore. You're welcome. So we are we are re- re- returning the amulet of the planes to V. Uh, but it it takes a while to to unlock the. Uh, never mind. We're not going anywhere in the next hour. We don't think, and we thought we would get started. Yes. So, uh, the the when I said get to know the dagger, I meant. <sighs> You have to, and I look over to Macklin, you tell her, or sorry, you tell them. We look very, we're looking very confused, but attentive from one to the other. And the vestiges, they're not your typical magical item. They have a will of their own. As you grow accustomed to using it and perform deeds that the the vestige finds appropriate to its own self, it begins to awaken. It uh, remembers its old powers from when it was wielded by the gods. Um, the face that Tab, well, let's find out what, what kind of face Tab is making right now, because they're going to be trying not to make the face that I think they're making. Uh, wow. I mean, that's still an 18. Um, so I guess anyone with passive insight or actual insight or less than 18 tab looks inscrutable um we'll find out for those of us in the room <laughs> and for the rogues <laughs> okay um yeah I mean Jogan and, and Cure this... aren't there so <laughs> I, I didn't know how close attention anyone was paying. Um, so as this explanation of like has a will for its of its own and needs to be like used in appropriate ways to remember its old powers, just like it's not dismay exactly, but sort of like definite recognition followed by sort of. I feel like growing horror is not too strong a word. Like, like Tab is definitely not handing the dagger back. Um, doesn't seem uncomfortable with the dagger itself, but is like, like, like there's clearly a this is a little too close to home vibe. I quite all right, Tab. Do they normally pull that face? Um, what face? Usually they're a lot pluckier. Thus far, they've threatened you once, and well, making that face. We didn't have to do that with this one. We tapped the hilt of the rapier again. Where did you come across that rapier, Tav? Huh? Um, we study macro moment, and then like draw ourselves up to our full five foot two, um, like like chin lifted just a little bit higher it was given to the first by the changer so there he it, it, those does that word soup mean anything to macklin <laughs> uh roll inside. inside okay i'll also uh, give you history or religion okay um you know what? I'll take religion on this one. That's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Uh, the change bringer is Avandra, the goddess of luck. Um, it appears that this, whoever the first is, uh, this was given to a weapon given to them by a goddess. Which probably would make it a vestige. 
he nods a little bit and, and rubs his chin. From Avandra, then. Uh, well, if it comes from a god, it is likely a vestige. Uh, handed from the god itself, it is probably already awakened. Uh, the one's uncovered, and he, uh, he reaches to his hip and withdraws the condemner and looks it over. Some of them have been lost and forgotten. Uh, this one here was awakened before it was given to me, but it does not yet fully recall its, uh, its full potential. Uh, Whisper, likewise, is... It's, it's awake, but it's not at its full... its full glory. I wonder if there are perhaps secrets of your own blade that could be explored. Who's that one from? Sort of pointing at the condemner. Uh, this was bequeathed, bequeathed to me uh, by the Exeldon himself. We um, we rescued his spirit. It was trapped within one of the soul batteries. What was that? Uh, almost a year ago, close to me. So the rumor says. But who originally? And who this one? Like, like tapping the uh, whisper, like very gingerly. In the first place, is it from the Raven Queen? He looks over the condemner and shakes his head softly. Looks toward uh, whisper and slowly shakes his head. I, I don't know. We'll have to ask Cure. We don't not. About yours, unless you want. We could ask if you want. We don't mind, but about this one. I might make a difference. We quit. Huh. Quit. We nod. A little emotionally. Like, you and the Raven Queen's employ. Not exactly, but kind of. We owed her, and now we don't. Ah, ah a favor for a favor. Understood. He shrugs his shoulders. I have had no dealings with the Raven Queen myself. I, I could not say one way or another whether she holds a grudge. It just might be confusing for her if we had her knife. No, uh, the best of my knowledge, it is not from the Raven Queen. Thank you. Although I, I could be more specific, but it would require a lot of incense and some time. We'll figure it out. We're very clever. We'll let you know if we find incense. Would you like us to look for some? Uh, no, no that, that, that will be fine. I, I do not believe that uh, I should have anyone go looking for that much incense. We kind of have the expression like considering it like this looks like it just sounds like an interesting challenge um and we'll look back at v does that mean we could have it in the, in the amulet too <clears throat> we have a lot of things we don't want to be greedy And then we shake our head. We don't think we're going to need to... We're not going to need it. We can keep it. Unless we want the knife. Um. And then we... Let's see. I think we'll sort of continue looking around. And uh, have have lots of ideas in our head, but we'll we'll stop talking for a moment if someone else would like to do something <laughs> while we decide which of those bad ideas seems like the best. Uh, Macklin stows the condemner and sees Tab kind of I don't know, is Tab floundering or Um <sighs> 
Is Tab not... still got that that face of gravity? Too many on processes their face? are open, and the CPU is chugging along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like floundering, like like Tab doesn't know, like Tab, like not like sort of that lost at sea, um, vaguely horrified look that they they seem with with the with the count saying that they're, he's pretty sure that that Whisper isn't originally a Raven Queen vestige. Uh, whether or not he's correct about that, Tab seems Tab seems reassured. Uh, significantly by that, and no longer like horrified. Um, it looks it, de it definitely tab looks like they sort of have a couple of ideas that they haven't. They just haven't decided which one uh, they're going to pursue. So there is definitely space to move tab in a particular direction if Macklin so sees fit. But they don't look <laughs> like they are like in a bad spot and actively need help unless that unless someone wants to make a proactive choice on their behalf. I guess. Right. Yeah, he nods a bit and. Looking between Tab and V, uh, nods and shifts to look at at Costume. Well, I think no matter who has possession of the dagger, they'll put it to use. That's not to say that we, we don't want you to not have the the, the angle of Tab. Uh, it seemed that was the impression you were getting, but by all means, I trust you to do the right thing with it. I'm not sure keeper or your father or what have you if i'm going to try to take something away from you i'll be direct about it i should hope that i wouldn't have to you seem bright and convincible is that supposed to be a compliment i should hope so invincible convincible you can be is that convinced. like gullible we're not offended to be clear like, like tab is, is genuinely curious and interested in the, in the answer to be willing to reason. Oh, that's not that makes sounds much better, thank you. It does a bit of a misnomer. Would you like to reason us out of to look for Jazen? Or going to look for Cure? Or um I'm not sure what else we're thinking of yet. I think those are all fine things, so long as you don't wander too far from the compound. I may have to reason you away from that. We'll let you know if we think about it. We'll give Appreciate you a chance. He inclines his head and smiles. We smile back. If you do choose to go after Dawson, can you at least have some witnesses? Why would we need witnesses? Have you tried picking him up? We've done it several times. Not usually on purpose. How close to right after right he went to sleep? We don't remember. And you didn't get a punch thrown at you? We're very quick. Hmm. How many times did he punch you? Successfully, twice. We nod. Like, visibly adjusting our impression. Of the count. So you're not very quick, but what do you do other than control people's minds? I don't control people's minds. That's. I'm. I. I no, I don't do that. If I did, I did. then. Dealing with Cure would have been much, much easier. <laughs> we are gonna like look at Macklin and like like a subtle like thumbs up, thumbs down gesture. Like like true or false. Um He gives you kind of a fifty fifty back. <laughs> we nod knowingly. What else do you do? I just vanish in front of her. In front of them, I should say. We'll reach out and like poke the space where he was with a hand, not. You feel something there. I, I let the, the invisibility fade. And that's very good. As the, as the invisibility fades, fades, you watch Costume's uh, face kind, kind of, of wash away, away for a second, second to reveal to a slightly smaller face shape, shape with white, uh, with white, white hair. hair. And 
almost uh, blue eyes, and then it comes back to the costume image. Yelp and jump back. Like, not far back, just, like, like startle, jump in the air, land a little, like, a foot of uh, six or 12 inches back of where we were. I'm also known to sing when the time calls for it. Please do. I look around. I, I don't currently have an... Um, yeah, no. No. <laughs> Maybe later. Yes, perhaps later. That was a very good demonstration. Thank you much. We're very impressed. Not with the singing yet. Maybe later. But the rest of it was very good. Yeah, perhaps later. Depends on how much anyone, anyone else is drinking. We have half I'll... a jar of Faye Wild Moonshine. And I have some Marquesian wine and Dorillo Scotch, Scotch and several other quite good alcohols, but... You know, better, better with company oh. than alone. And then I look over. Does anyone know where Cure went? Oh, speaking of. <laughs> Cure, what are you up to? Heading into this library. Oh, no. Okay. It's, uh, I mean, it's a beautiful library. You walk in, there is a suit of armor on the left. Um, on the right, immediately, is a bookshelf. Large work table in front of you. This is a very large library. Thank I'm not you. sure whether to be envious. Oh, there you are. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, just some research. What kind of research? Um, the Weave of Fate and, and Dunamancy. I blink blankly at her. Controlling of fate and gravity. That sounds like heavy reading. You know, it's... Huh. Well, I found Josen. Um... I couldn't help but think to myself as I went off to find him. Well, I was startled when you flinched away from me, and then it occurred to me why you probably did that. Just looks at you. Warily. I wanted to allay any suspicions or fear that you might have that I don't hold any ill will toward you. Roll a persuasion check. See if Cure's earnestness shines through. <laughs> 25. He looks at you. Cautiously, and then nods a little bit. Right then. I dare say I don't know the full story, nor am I particularly driven to uncover it. Whatever happens between you and my daughter, between the two of you, for good or ill, um. I had some things from Talia, things she was not in 
any rush to collect again. Perhaps it might be best if I left them with you. He nods. And if you'd like. I'll move over to the table. Did I ever get that ring back from Josen after we teleported? If John isn't back, I will say yes, Chosen would have given you back. That is going to be the first thing I pull out and welcome back. That's going to be the first thing that I pull out and set on the table. See her kind of freeze. When we were in hell, I came across a room of Talia's things. Not knowing exactly what was there or what the situation was with her, I happened to grab much of it with the intention of returning it to her once I had saved her. There hasn't been much time since saving her to discuss such things. But recalling some of my own past relationships, I thought it best not to immediately throw these things away when my daughter's mind was compromised by a realm that sucks all joy from one's life. There might have been issues of compromise there. I'll also... I think I have something else. I pull out a bundle of letters and set them on the table. Letters that were all addressed to Nika and Grace. That's a little bit. It was foolish of her to keep them. Had them destroyed. Foolish is one word for them. What? I can think of other less judgmental words. She chose the part she wanted to play in this, and she should have followed that better position now if she had over to this bookshelf and I suppose you say that having never made decisions you regret in the past never having made decisions you believe were absolutely morally correct only for them to cause some measure of difficulties to those among you, around you, particularly those close to you. We've spoken about this before. Not a single. Trust me, I say this not being judgmental of you. I'm not sure how familiar you are with my history, but I am having this conversation very often tonight. I'm starting to wonder if I have a condition against myself or something. Anyway. People make... Sometimes the decisions people make in the heat of a particular moment, ought not be, do not deserve to be held against them. Sometimes those decisions are honest, sometimes 
They are simply the manifestations of us deluding ourselves into thinking we are doing the right thing. I will not presume to know which is correct in this case, or to presume to know what conversations the two of you have had. But these are extraordinary circumstances. To base our assumptions of one another on any frame of reference that does not take into that into account would be incredibly foolish of us. You see her kind of run her fears over the spines of the books. You know your mind and you know your heart. Talia is much the same, though hers had been compromised of late. The fact is beyond her control, regardless of what decision she made. I don't know if there's anything there to be salvaged, but perhaps there's a way forward for both of you, one way or another. said this is a trend not a one-off bad decision that keep the ring it's got several thousand uh, several hundred worth of diamonds in it good for a revivify at least i'll look down at it purse my lips Then I trust you will see it into the hands of an appropriate Eric. I will not take it. I can see that to be done. I'll nod to her. At any rate, I wanted to return these to someone who would be, who would see that they were dealt with properly, regardless of whatever manner you see fit you with them. But beyond that, and I'll nod to her again, you both are your own persons. That's all. So you don't have to worry about me striking you down or anything. Good. Better control of your material. What'd she say? You have a better control of your temper than Uriel. That makes me blink. I beg your pardon? snorts a little bit and it's a it's a very sarcastic sounding snort I see she was light on the detail that is her way back to the bookshelf to be fair I didn't really probe I was trying to be respectful then again I have no idea how such things are done I have three children of three different ages, and I've all acquired them in the course of a year and a half. I have no idea what I'm doing. She smiles a little bit, bit at that. Your best, I assume.
What'd she say? Your best, I assume. Oh. I certainly hope so. I suppose I will ask about it at some point, but... I feel it may be too soon at the moment. Perhaps when things are less stressed. There are several more world-ending things to consider right now. If you find anything in those books that might influence the fight against our adversary, be sure to let me know. I will. I really ought to give this earring back to Halia as well, although it has proven quite useful. Well, I don't think she's been from Ghost. Be right back, so... I might make some inquiries and decide whether I want to keep it or not later. Have a good evening, Grace. You as well. And I will leave the library. All right. Everyone else? Actually, Dawson, what do you, so you're taking a moment to pray and hide? Hiding, then pray. All right. All right. Certainly a choice. You want me to make? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cure is very mindful of the passage of time as well. Twenty-seven. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You That's... can move yourself wherever you think that Jaws would find a good place to hide. And we'll pick back up with the ropes. I think the last thing they asked was, where's Jocelyn or where's Cure? Yeah. Where's Cure? Are either of the other rogues looking particularly motivated? Um, <laughs> at the <laughs> mention of where's Jocelyn and where's Cure, Macklin will pipe up. Actually, the two of them have been quite quiet. Um, I look toward Tab. We're still worried about Jocelyn. Should we? We, we know he us to, and Cure didn't want us to, but we still are. We think we should. Perhaps. At least to make sure they're not um, brooding too hard. They might hurt themselves. Should we all go together? Should we... It could be a race. We could race. Race? Race to find Jawson? Cure or just Jawson? Oh, yeah. Do you want to race too? Oh, wait, no, that was Jaws. That was that was not the Count talking. That was Jawson. Do we, we hear Jawson's disappointed and voice? <laughs> None of those voices <laughs> sound like Jawson. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, no. Jawson, don't die. Was that over the bracelet? <laughs> Was it over the bracelet? I would assume so. Pete, what do you think? Was it over the bracelet or no? Oh no, is B gone too? 
Jill is just typing. I think something might have just broke. Oh no. Oh yeah, they keep lighting up, but I don't hear them. Oh, we can't uh, hear you. We could a second ago. <laughs> TeamSpeak hates me. Oh, there you are. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. It Did apparently you're... changed my push to talk and then didn't tell me that. <laughs> Did you tell Cure, did you tell, not Cure specifically, but did you, did you tell Jocelyn not to die over the bracelet or was that just out loud to the room? That was me be, being his usual sarcastic self, talking to Tab, Jocelyn don't die, because will end up stuck in Tab's head. Oh no. Oh no. Um, we will, we will lift the bracelet to our mouth. Jocelyn, V says you shouldn't die, please. He makes no guarantees and suggests you come find him. Did you murder him? What? No. We're moving towards... Assume this is the only... Yeah, because the other one goes... We'll, we'll move out into the hallway and look around. Uh, is Cure also out in the hallway? Or is she not quite out of the room yet? I'm probably like just... I'm probably like right there. Okay. We step out and we look. He's not with you. No. I told you, he wants you to go find him. Well, Why? all of the rogues, to be honest. If you can. We thought it could be a race. It most certainly could be a race. We will look over our shoulder and then squeak and jump a little bit as V appears as V has has got, gone past this without us realizing it and so we'll look over our shoulder and backward and then forward again at V. It's a race. It really is. A race, That's pure. Then. Best of luck. And which way did he go? Well you can't that's we can't ask that. That's cheating. We'll find out. Alright. Um we'll we'll sidle up next to Cure. Um we might have questions for you later about the count. Oh, goody. We thought he was trying to use us to upset. We didn't like that. We can upset you on our own. <laughs> I find that none of that is untrue. <laughs> All right, you have to refine Jazan. And then we will. Have uh... fun searching the castle. I think we're going to take off to the find him. east. Um, can we, as we go by, can we try to, as Kiora's came out finding Jocelyn, can we try to read whether she is looking in any particular direction or otherwise possibly signaling which way he might be? Uh, we, think, sure. we think she knows. Insight. Uh, yeah, you roll an insight, Kiora roll deception, I guess? 22, not amazing. Um, no contest, because I legitimately have no idea where he would have gone. <laughs> Hell, it took me a while just to find the library. <laughs> All right, we can tell Cure doesn't know where he is. Um, how would you like to handle this race? You're doing initiative orders and uh, turn times. Um, you can Delightful. Uh, Jasmine, you are currently down here on the map. Why don't you move yourself into a space? We are very deliberately zoomed in so we can't see where Jasmine's icon is. Fabulous. Are we rolling for initiative? I There's an so. organ on this map. There's a lot of stuff on this map. Oh, wow, Macklin. Oh. And Macklin thought he wasn't going to play. <laughs> By the time Tab decides to start the game, Macklin is already gone. Yeah, uh, we, that's what happened. We stopped to Cure and... Oh, there's the second floor. Or wait, are we on... Are our icons currently on the second floor? Or is the scrolling down the second floor? 
Uh, scrolling down is the second. Okay. Delightful. Map is not the easiest. It's so pretty. Is there a third floor? Anyone else? Oh, there is! We need to go for- Wow! Oh, it's so beautiful! There's a third floor. What? what? What do you mean there's a third floor? If you okay. keep scrolling down. Oh, wait, no, there's not. We just can't. Graphical error. Yeah. Ah. We were zoomed way on and scrolling <laughs> and looking aligned. That surprised the DM as <laughs> <Sorry>. well. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> Surprise. Oh, no. <laughs> We found the secret floor, Dev. Let's go. Oh, I don't know floor. why my initiative go, but I'll be rolling them at it. We'll never find them now. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Exactly the same. Oh, weird. How does that even happen? We rolled really badly, I guess. All right, Macklin. You're up first. Are you playing this game? Oh yeah, I'm playing this game. Um, I'm gonna bow my head to Count Costum and... Well, it seems we're playing a game now. Uh, I'll catch you around. And, um... Make my way out toward the hall, using 5, 10... 10... 15 feet of movement. Uh, look and see the other rogues haven't really moved much. Um, is, were they, were these guys close enough to hear the conversation about Cure not knowing legitimately where Jocelyn is? I think so, yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, um, I guess I'd like to make a survival check, see if I can find a trail of some kind. Sure. The Jawson Trail. 15 survival? It's less that you're tracking, like, a trail and more like you're trying to figure out maybe the best places all right uh your instincts say maybe not inside maybe not inside you like you're thinking about him you're thinking about him as a person you're you know yeah about he's him. he used to live in the goddamn woods being indoors is not his thing all right, um, seeing as everyone's clustered, I will just casually take a circuitous route toward, um, are those windows? Is that a door in the distance? I genuinely don't know what you're looking at. Uh, right down the hall. Uh, those are windows. Windows. All right, let's see. Um, 15. All right, so that's 35 feet of movement because of Gloomstalker. Use a dash action to move another 35. Mm -hmm. uh, bonus, bonus action, cunning action, because I already used the action to, to, to make my check, so. All right, best turn. All righty. Uh, we will look up at Cure a little, uh, impatient. Where did you see him last? Never mind, that's cheating. Um, <laughs> and we will, <laughs> why not, uh, click our haste boots. Um, and... I think just take off. Uh, I'm going to need a calculator with my max 
movement in it. Um, all right, so. We'll get to. I to learn that cool thing that Rob knows how to do. Uh, looks like. 70 feet gets to that door so that's our movement and most of our hasted movement we'll poke our head in uh do we see anything in that room i was not expecting you guys to play hide and seek on the giant ass map <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there's a lot of doors in this room, in this place. It's gonna be fine. Uh, How else are we supposed to learn the map? This room? Yeah. You'll find yeah. an empty bedroom with a large table. Okay. Um, we're going to spin around, use the remaining 10 feet of movement. To be clear, the remaining ten feet just just movement to uh, get look in this room, uh, this little I don't even know what it is. That is a closet. You notice okay. that there's uh, lots of towels in that closet. Okay. Um, we'll pop in here. This room? This is the pool. You find a whole ass pool. Uh, we're now into our, um, uh, into our dash action. Um, and can we tell if Jocelyn is in the pool? Uh, it just, the pool is clear, no beautiful, ripples. still water, no ripples, no Jocelyn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the rest of a dash action gets us here. Um, firing off the boots. I'm just going to double check real quick. I believe was it. Yep, that was a bonus action. So we have our hasted action. Also a dash. Um, I guess tell me if any of these doors are locked, I guess. Um, we'll, yeah. Our, our hasted action will get us in here. Uh, what is this? It is a small chapel devoted to Arathus. Okay. That's our turn for now. I feel like I should start dropping labels on stuff. Go Arathus. Just make a note in a side doc to upload later. Mm-hmm. Me. So I've been staring at this possible doorway because there's a path to it. So even if it is window, I think I'm going to head for it and go out of it. Oh. Okay. Not notice the path, but it's my mistake. Uh, but yes, you're currently declaring it a window that you can go out of. With notes that some of some changes might happen to the map by next iteration. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, you have to get out the window. Okay, which crazy rogue skill thing am I using for the extra movement and I just double my movement, right? Okay, that was it. Action dash, because V is also presuming that Jasmine couldn't hide somewhere, so, you know, Obvious is a library. This is Jocelyn. You know, if I get bored, I will sit down on this convenient one of these convenient benches out here. I bought a book. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> All right. But for now, we're playing the he game. He is an old man. Okay. Is that your turn? Can I, um, perception check, see in these windows that there is, in fact, a library inside? Or office? Or are they, like, kind of on the other side of the hall? They're on the other side of the hall. Okay. Cool. I will find out some other way eventually, I'm sure. In that case, yes, it's turn. Okay. I gotta measure some. As the rogues run off, I'm just going to broadcast over our bracelets. Does anyone know where we're supposed to be sleeping tonight? You go back to bed. (laughs) 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 Alina doesn't. Yeah, Alina blinks at you. I can show you. You're supposed to be in. Why are you still awake? You were exhausted when I sat you down. I know, I took a nap. I know that's what your mother calls it, but that is not a nap. That's supposed to be bedtime. But if you know where we're supposed to sleep, then I will like your help. Okay. Take your hand. Take her hand and let her lead me. If you're the first person you get first choice of bedrooms. Oh, excellent. That's a very good point. I definitely want the softest bed. Okay, do you want the one near the sauna? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. 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 Um... Movement and bonus action dash is going to take me to this window. If I cut that corner diagonally. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll just... Is the window open? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to just prop myself up and, and sit on the ledge and look at the window. And um, have myself a think. Um surveying the ground below is it it's evening or is it night it's firmly night firmly night so it is dark out um so lying on sight probably won't be very helpful i'm going to think about jaws and and knowing he's probably outside ponder if If maybe he left anything behind. His not, cares. Not, not so much um, looking for pr- footprints, but I would like to to listen and I don't know, smell the air, <laughs> try to get into his head. Can I roll insight to try to get into Jason's head? <laughs> Of his eyes. Oh, the, the swish swishes, or like <laughs> he's kind of old, so he breathes a certain way, and <laughs> when he moves, his hips kind of pop a certain way. And I'm definitely not thinking about his stubbly lips, but I'm definitely thinking about his stubbly lips. You've kissed him so many times now. I think that Macklin has kissed Dawson more times than Macklin has kissed anyone else in this game. Really, for real. I mean, who among us? What? No, no, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. So, um, yeah. So, I'm, I'm going to. I'd like to roll insight to sort of, um, not criminally profile. I don't know what the term is <laughs> when you try to when you try to put yourself in their shoes. Um, yeah, that's how you profile. Like, 
But I'm gonna try profile. a criminal profile, yes. Profile yeah. old man. I have a cat Are on my you trying so to determine his dice. design? Um, I don't know. Do you want to ro roll an opposed check on that, Jocelyn? You can roll whatever you want. Is this, is this the well, mental shit. image of Josen in Macklin's mind, just flat out deceiving him? Could be. It's it could like, be. it's like, when it's trying to grab smoke. Like, it's like that word on the tip of your tongue, Macklin. Like, you're, you know him, right? You know him. Do I, though? But it's trying to imagine someone's voice you know really well when you haven't talked to them in a couple days. All right, that's turn. And the more you focus on it, the more it... You're 100% sure he is probably outside and probably somewhere he could be left alone. Ah! Um... Ah, who's going for... Uh... Well, we have quantity, not quality. <laughs> 200 <laughs> feet of movement turns. <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> Here's 40. We zip out of the um, <laughs> shrine to Arathus, charge down the hallway, see Macklin, just like pensively looking out the window. Is that what's happening right now? Yes. It's that, when will my husband return from the war? <laughs> <laughs> Um, we will sort of, like, skid around this turn and go booking through whatever this room is. Wait, is that a... Actually, as we turn in here... That's uh, a feast hall. Okay, so this is a table, not a staircase. It, I mean, it's a staircase, but it's a staircase to, like, a raised platform. Okay. Um, so we'll skid around the corner... 40 feet of movement gets us to the other side of what I assume is the buffet table. Mm -hmm. um, the buffet table or the head table, you're not quite sure. Yeah, which are going too fast, you sure. Um, let's see. And we're gonna get in here. Like sitting room sort of situation looks to be some sort of formal parlor yeah okay that's 20 uh, i don't know why we're relying on our passive perception of 10 to pick up if jason has been in any of these places but that seems to be what we're doing so we just keep going another 20 feet gets us there Tab's goal isn't actually to find jobs, yeah. and it's just to explore this place. We're just going super fast, just and we're super into run. it. Yeah. Stop me with the rooms, let's hear your motives, you <laughs> uh, um, Large entryway. Entry with, hall. Yeah, with um, beautiful bouquets of flowers in the center. Okay. Um, looks like double doors, like, out to the south of us. Yes. Okay, and we see staircases to the north of us. Um, so I think we're going to go for the staircase. Let's see. Okay. Uh, 45 feet movement gets us to the top of that stair. So we'll go find it on the map below us. Uh, cool. So there's a, I think when we'll just, we, with our remaining 10 feet of movement, we'll just keep going and then look at this new place. That's turn. Alrighty. B. Right. Push to talk. Um, I am going to continue on my merry way down this pathway, continuing with my dodge action, kind of searching around as I'm going down the outside of the house. Okay, roll a perception. Twenty one. I 
don't see anything immediately. Do I see anything else interesting? Um, there's a beautiful statue here of a centaur. Pauses to study the centaur statue. Because that's new. <laughs> <laughs> there's also a gnome looking forlornly out a window. <laughs> he waves <laughs> cheekily at Macklin. Grins. <laughs> Hello, stranger. <laughs> this is such an interesting examination of the three rogues' approach to life. <laughs> v just wanders, Macklin pauses to think, and Tab just rushes from point to point. He's just going fast. This is why oh, rogue well. party sometimes actually works. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's turn for me. <laughs> Alright. I continue on to bed. Yeah, Alina's leading you the way. Yep. Do you want me to show you the sauna first? Since it's on the way, why not? It's a little past, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm hoping that the additional effort might make her more tired. <laughs> Insomnia is a terrible habit to get into. Studies show even one night of sleeplessness can be a detrimental to your mental health. And she's fast. Even Measures. this late at night? Even this late at night. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Don't run, there's no reason to hurry. Okay. So, up there's the pool. Left. There's a pool and a sauna? Baths. And, like, big baths. I'm taking notes. It's almost unfair. When we get a house, we could have a pool. We will have a pool. It's almost like you said some magic words to, because she looks back at you and the sleepiness kind of fades a little bit as she just gives you this wide grin. Water can be perfectly fun so long as you're not waiting around in heavy armor. Why would you swim in your armor? Not by choice. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, it's late at night. Uh, however, I do see that there are some trees and bushes. Can I hear the sounds of animals? Perhaps birds? Owls? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, you do hear kind of quiet you you heard them and then v approached and they went silent so there's also a strange bling sound from nearby <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. you there and i will cast speak with animals ha <laughs> uh oh god is it... oh god where is edgar he's not <gasps> near here is he ha <laughs> Where is Edgar? Where is Edgar? Because 
that's going to change my plan completely yeah. if Ember's nearby. It's I'm like, where's say, Waldo? Only featherier. I'm going to say that he's just kind of like lying down on the roof above Macklin, kind of leaning his head down to stare at him from above. <laughs> All right. Front, so we'll... front talons crossed in front of him. We'll put Edgar here. Oh, God. Not three um... by three. He's two by two. Edgar is on the roof a little below you. He's on like an overhang on the first floor. Joe's in climbing the roof might have been what convinced him to uh, flutter up to investigate. And you then know, he just kind of meandered like, over. I feel like Edgar knows that Jocelyn doesn't see too good and is just on like. on watch. Yeah, he's just nearby, giving uh, Joe's in some privacy and just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing he can't see Edgar. Probably. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how long it would take him to do his first, but yeah, Edgar's <laughs> just gonna be hanging out, watching. Um, if that's the case, looking up, uh, I see Edgar kind of hanging over uh, the ledge. Um. Does Speak With Beasts work with Edgar? He, he's a monster, right? So no. Um, He's not a monster. He's a bee. You're a monster. Uh, let me let me check his type. Oh, well, that's not helpful. It's his type's shiny I've, things. We know that. I've, oh, yes. He has a type, certainly. <laughs> I, I feel his like type is I, large celestial. <laughs> I feel like if I could speak with Edgar, I would have spoken with Edgar by now. You have some interesting things to say. <laughs> I will leave it up to you all to make that call. Strictly speaking, a griffin is a monstrosity. But then again, Edgar is not a true griffin and is a celestial being. <laughs> I, I, I would apply Vula Fun here, but I am happy with whatever everybody else decides because it's not my steed so i'm just eating popcorn <laughs> yep. i mean he's watching macklin all right macklin's going to attempt to speak in <laughs> what is he based off of a raven he's going to try to speak in the language of ravens yes oh okay i think i can work with this so you're going to speak you're going to speak Raven to Edgar? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to speak as, as Raven-ish as possible. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you were up there. But tell me, have you happened to see Johnson around? We're all looking for him. Tilts his head to the side, blinks slowly at you, and answers, Yes, I am watching him. Is he okay? Seems fine. Does he look like he'd like want a guest? Edgar looks to Jawson. Huh. I don't know. Can you roll an insight check for Ed insight check for Edgar? Uh, sure. That's remarkably wow. good insight for Edgar. <laughs> Is Edgar a therapy griffin? <laughs> no. Just Edgar. now figuring that out? <laughs> Probably. It is always good to have friends with you. I agree. Could you point me toward him? Edgar hops off the roof and lands on the ground. Uh, bowing, bowing uh, his four legs. V jumps out of the way as soon as he gets landed on. <laughs> uh, bowing the four legs, as in to, to mount, to ride. Um, yeah. Yes, I will. I will take the. Uh, I'll take the offer and gingerly hop down. 
sort of um, hang to the wall and and let some of my uh, cloak and glove sort of drag so I'm not landing with my full weight on top of uh, Edgar. I'm assuming we're kind of, are we like right outside or this is the second floor, right? Uh, that's the first floor. That's, that's the first floor. Oh, okay. Then I'm less concerned as I hop onto the Griffin's back. <laughs> we were on the second floor. Okay. You hop onto the Griffin's back. And he takes you to the roof. Find Jason. This has got to be one of the strangest scenarios for V to witness. Edgar I was and almost Macklin landed on by other. Griffin. <laughs> and then Macklin was just cheating. Oh, you haven't guessed yet? Macklin was planning to cheat this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I did no. no, I never doubted that we're planning to cheat. I just couldn't figure out how. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same. One hard same. <laughs> I feel like rogues are the classic if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Correct. Basically. Did you doubt us? No. <laughs> One way or another, I was going to try to get a bird to help me, so. Yeah, so Macklin finds Jocelyn. <laughs> ba 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 if only I could find this icon. High on the roof. I don't. His his. There's no icon. There's no map for roof. Oh, there's no map for roof. A theater of imagination. Come on. All right. So as soon as as Edgar um, comes to a landing, Macklin will dismount and pet the Griffin down and um, bring his his wrist to his his mouth. Well, one of the rogues has found him. How are you other two doing? Um, so we were going to, on our next turn, 100 feet of movement gets us in here. Um, would we have, as we scanned whatever room we're in now, maybe a ballroom? Would we have seen Edgar and Jocelyn flying up, no, Edgar and, and Macklin flying up out of this window, or would we not have had a chance to yeah, spot you, that? You, you would have seen them. Uh, then we lift our lift the bracelet to our mouth. You cheated, um, but the tone is like zero percent offended. <laughs> lots, lots, lots of admiring. I'm surprised none of you simply asked Joseph where he was. Well, that's no fun. Also, he wouldn't have told us about that earlier. We found a ballroom and a pool and a shrine and lots of bedrooms and a feast I hall take off and some bracelet. stairs <laughs> <laughs> and we continue so, listening with the other things v walks up the wall <laughs> do we see so, v walk past us walk past us going up the wall <laughs> yes we'll be right there and we go in search of stairs <laughs> Macklin gives him space. He speaks quietly when he spoke into the wristlet. Um, just watching him and waiting for signs of change from this uh, meditative focused pose to this more relaxed pose. Kiar would put her bracelet on after a minute or two. <laughs> well, after a minute or two, Alina has led you to the sauna. Oh, this is so tempting.
Yeah, no, Kiora's Kiora's going to want to uh, check out the bedroom first. Okay. Alina will, in fact, bring you to this bedroom. Hey! There's, there's a big bed in there, and she motions through the door. I'll kind of peek in to investigate and nod. I'm going to get cleaned up, but I'll motion to the bed. Why don't you settle in for a bit? Okay. Were you using your bracelet to talk to your friends? I was, yes. I think I want one. I'll see what we can arrange. Okay. Actually... I did have something for you. As uh, she, like, climbs into bed, I'm gonna walk over to her. And then I'm going to pull out the magical stuffed owl bear um, that I picked up prior to leaving to Marquette and pass it to her. She grins brightly and wraps her arms around it. These are my favorite. So I've heard. And it's a raven told me. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'll lean down and kiss her on the top of their head and then go see about uh, getting cleaned up. Yep. I assume as Alina ran by, she would have pointed out that there are several large baths in here and that this is in fact called the bathhouse. Yep. Okay. Gross. You can verge a bunch of us. I was going to say, does this window, it, the windows in the ballroom open? Can I climb out and climb out the window and up the wall or do I need to go? It takes some doing, but yes, they do okay. open. Okay. Delight. Um, then I will join the other folks on the roof. And where is, is what is V doing? V has climbed a spot on the roof and has pulled out a book and is quietly sitting there. Okay. Because, we'll go... you know, he's completed the game, but doesn't need to be obnoxious. <laughs> we'll go quietly sit next to V, uh, or pro probably quietly sprawl on the roof next to V, um, and we'll be quiet for the moment while Macklin does whatever Macklin is doing. Fair oh. enough. We'll have something um, later. Edgar is right there. Answering <laughs> um, Edgar. Just killing answering Jaws, and he uh, he nods and pats down Edgar, and well, I can't take full credit. Uh, you have someone watching you. Oh, of course. If we don't declare rules before the game starts, is cheating even a thing? If you it's don't not. get caught, just breaking the rules. Even if there are rules, it's not. Apparently not. You hit very well. You hit you hit very high. You have to go in somewhere then. If you're just sitting out, it's too easy. Well, it seemed the quietest place to be. Well, the grounds have guards, and there's people within the halls. Up here is rather quite peaceful, however. Though the view might be nice, I think the breeze... That's something worth coming back to.
He nods a bit. Shall we point out uh, nearby areas of elevation for you in the future for your meditation? That one's gonna pop a squat, uh, similarly to similarly to how V and Tab are just kind of hanging out and sitting, and um, overlook the compound, S somewhat lit by the torches uh, surrounding it. It's a calm night. Do you sense something might be amiss? I suppose. I don't think you're ever supposed to, though. I wonder what's happening in Whitestone. Maybe I should stay back. I mean, for those who stayed back. He nods a bit. Hmm. Let's just get through the night first. See what the morning brings. It's been a long day. A bit too much activity. Hmm. Yes, leave that for younger men, I suppose. Which... I glance toward V and toward Tab and roll my shoulders. I suppose with lots of stomping and stabbing and uh, perhaps a bit of shrill screaming as well. We don't scream. Sometimes we squeak, but that's different. Surprise yelping, perhaps? Yelping is acceptable. Yelping is acceptable. I think we handled it as uh, well as we could have. Though I am glad to have it behind us. I think Treve and the rest of the Scarbearers should be able to take care of business now that we've helped them out. Seems we're in the right place at the right time. I think that alone is reason, reason alone to rest easy this evening. He nods. Yes, it's, uh, it's not pleasant to have to make the call, whether to stay back and help a group like that or move forward with our own plans. For the fight to come is bigger than that, bigger than the lives of 20 men or the, 
the fate of a small camp or town. The sooner we're done with this, the sooner we can go back to the small things. Like worms popping out of eyeballs. To each their own. He wrinkles his nose a little bit. Isn't death the purview of your god? I think that's a worthwhile endeavor. Work toward a world where peaceful death is the norm. And the insanity we've been dealing with is truly the outlier. I think the collective agrees that it is not a fate any of us would wish upon another. Jason, would you would you like to keep watch tonight? He shrugs audibly. If you feel confident with the gods here, then I will leave that to you. Consider it an open offer in case you want to accompaniment. Keep it in mind. Yeah, he stands and he dusts himself off and and continues to nod in, in Jasmine's direction. Oh, not at all, not at all. Well, I would assume you don't need a hand getting down. What with the whole uh, wing situation? <laughs> he looks over the, the side of the building and purses his lips. Did you do a grappling hook? Pulls back his cloak and uh, reveals the the long leather gauntlet that's been strapped to his right arm since just before hell. With the tiny hook strapped beneath the wrist. Oh, I think I'm quite equipped for the job. I think I'll go find a bed. Now that we know that you're safe and sound and your domain closer to the sky thinking your thoughts and hashing it out I wish you good night Oh, 
Well, there goes my dramatic exit. Come on. <laughs> Edgar just kind of like plucks at the back of Josen's clothing. <laughs> Since Josen's getting up to leave, he's going to kind of rise up, nudge his arm under uh, Josen's arm, and then lower himself and kind of headbutt his shoulder against Josen. Like, I'm not letting you walk around on this roof, blind man. <laughs> ha! Ah. Edgar's going to uh, kind of trot past Macklin, leap into the sky, and take uh, Josen down to the ground. Edgar will then sit down and stare up at the roof. Macklin's gonna give the uh, give Tab and V one nod and, and look back. Try not to get into any trouble. Uh, or do. I'm not your dad. Uh, shoots the grappling hook at the roof, <laughs> clips the hook into uh, one of the stones, and just repels over the side. <laughs> we will call after him. We will. We promise. What of those. Why does he give us challenges after Rex, you know, out of your shots? Would you like to get into trouble? Would you like not? How does he even define trouble? That's a very good question. Sometimes he causes it. We think. We think what, what, well, we, trouble is what we get yelled at for, right? It depends on how it doesn't it? I mean... It does, and if we don't get yelled at because they don't notice, that means we didn't get into trouble. We might have done something, but we didn't get into trouble for it. So that's what he said we could could or couldn't do. We start poking V. <laughs> like, very lightly with one finger because it looks like he's talking, but we can't hear him. We're trying to annoy him at the top, so that we can hear him. You sound very far away all of a sudden. So we're supposed to, and we're not supposed to get in trouble. What but if, if we do get in trouble, he's not supposed to know about it. We think that's what we heard, but also it doesn't matter if he does because he's not our dad. V peers over the edge of the roof. <laughs> Is he still there? Uh, by now, Macklin probably would have landed and scurried into the building. Mm -hmm. uh, Macklin and Johnson, you find that the second floor is full of empty guest rooms that are prepared and ready for guests. Some of them, the door is hanging open from Tab running through the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> Not like off its hinges, just close behind them. Good night, Chosen. I will let you figure out where on the map you all are. <laughs> sure. After watching Macklin successfully descend to the ground, uh, Edgar is going to fluff himself a little bit and then fly back up to the roof. Um, we will have stopped poking V um, now that we can hear him. Uh, and we'll just sort of prop our chin on our hands. We're still sprawled on the roof. We had a question. Okay. You miss being around other drow? Uh, sometimes ish. Because we missed our people and we 
didn't think until we saw the Oasis. You seemed very content with your books, but we wondered at the Oasis when we saw the other drow. We don't want you to be lonely. I mean, it's not like I never talk to them. It's just one of those things. I was I was kind of on a work study trip anyway. To the Oasis? Hmm? No, in Whitestone. <laughs> So you are, does that mean you are lonely or you aren't lonely? I mean, not particularly. I, uh, I Would was you like us to go away so you could be lonely? Uh, we like poke him <laughs> a couple more times, very gently. He is like looking at you suspiciously with like one eye closed, like what the heck? <laughs> Do you want to go inside, or do you want to stay on the roof? So, if we stay on the roof, I will be very confused as to where we are. Because, you know, Kira went to bed first, and we'll probably be picking up first, and she'll have no idea where to look for us. We could go to the other side of the roof, where it's unpleasant. <clears throat> We can also do this. Or, we can go inside and find better lighting, and I, we can look at that tattoo book. <laughs> um, we bounce to our feet, um, hopefully not falling off the roof. Maybe we'll all find out together and like reach a hand down to offer him a hand up. We could do that. We saw lots of rooms. Some of them had lighting. He takes the hand up. And we pull him up and... Uh, well, I guess start looking for a way back inside. Yeah, there's plenty of windows. Mac would scrap them and hook is probably still hanging there since he didn't take it with him. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the best light with comfy chairs that we that that we noticed with our ten passive perception as we charged uh, through the building? You saw like six parlors, so you imagine one of those is probably going to be great. Okay, let's see. Uh, you know that we did see like six parts. Oh, you know what? This one right here. Uh, um, which which to one? The, the, so there's the feast hall and then immediately to the west of the yes. feast hall. Yeah, we're going to lead into that one. It looks like it's got great comfy couches and chairs and lamps and a fireplace. That's the place. I just remember where I left my token. Uh, it's over to the right. There we go. So we'll pull out the tattoo book and tattoo inks and cast whatever portion of the night before our two four hour transfers plus brooder, um, I guess, lost in tattoo book, magical spell book review and discussion. V may also be like disguise using disguise self to make illusions of tattoos. <gasps> Tab is super into it and like keeps coming, like has lots of feedback and suggestions and ideas for like fine tuning. The, the various basically, options. He's using the illusions like, okay, so do we like this? Do we not like this? Do we think this is a good <laughs> idea? And we're do we definitely need to... we're definitely like proposing like like ones that for for like either of us, but also like we're making this we're, we're making decisions about what we think all the other party members should have, and possibly other people in the house who aren't party members. So that's probably fine. Uh, and did you take off your your Talia earring, Kior? You still with us? I'm still here. Oh no. No Mish. Mish. Oh yeah. I'm. Yeah, I would still have it in my ear. Yeah. 
Uh, you hear a voice come through. Uh, it's not in the pigeon. It's very clear. Um, prepare for bringing in wounded. And it's not ghost's voice, but it's in fact Talia's. I frown a little bit. And as the order goes out, I call it for tonight. Delightful. Thank you.